We're now going to talk about something called state functions. In order to understand this, I'm going to use a metaphor with you called the traveling example. I want you to pretend that you've been doing some traveling, and I come up with you and ask you, what state are you in? Let's pretend, hypothetically, that you answer, I'm in Virginia. Captain John Carter, Virginia. Now when I have asked you that question, does your answer in any way depend upon how you got to Virginia? No, it doesn't. Because my question only asked you to tell me what state you're currently in. Now let's suppose that you have a friend who also traveled to the same location that you're at in Virginia, but did so by a completely different route. When I ask your friend what state he or she is in, what is the answer? It's exactly the same. Does the answer depend at all upon how your friend got there? Absolutely not. According to the question that I've asked, it only depends on what final state each of you is in, which in this example is the same. Now as it turns out, there are certain thermodynamic properties that are also called state functions. State functions, as I'll reiterate momentarily, are limited completely to the current physical state of the substance in question and do not depend in any way upon how the substance got to that state. So all systems, as it turns out, have some amount of internal energy. And that energy will be the same for two different systems that have the same amount of substance, the same type of substance, and the same temperature. For instance, if I have two cups that each contain 50 grams of water at 25 degrees Celsius, then they both have the same exact amount of internal energy. It doesn't matter how they each got there. So in one example, we could imagine me beginning with a cup containing 50 grams of water that started at 100 degrees Celsius and cooled to eventually arrive at 25 degrees Celsius. Separately, we could imagine having a second cup that also contains 50 grams of water that started at 0 degrees Celsius but was heated gradually to arrive at the exact same temperature as the former cup at 25 degrees Celsius. Are both of those two cups in the exact same final state? Yes, they are. Does the fact that each of those cups started from different origins matter in any way relative to their final state? No, it does not. Both of these cups, because they contain the same mass of the same substance at the same temperature, are in the exact same state. And the fact that they both came from different starting points is completely irrelevant in terms of what their current internal energy or state is. Thus we can see that internal energy is an example of a state function, a property that is determined and dependent by a system's current condition or state. State functions values depend only on the present state of the system and not on the path taken to reach that state. Now that's all we're going to say about state functions, but I want you to keep it in the back of your mind because we will discuss it further on in this chapter as well as in later chapters this semester.